You've probably noticed that not all streets are equally enjoyable or suitable for pedestrians. Have you ever stopped to consider why you perceive certain streets as being better for walking than others? Urban planners and urban designers have identified that our willingness to walk in and enjoy certain areas is influenced by the built environment. This refers to an area's physical elements such as sidewalks, streets, buildings, and amenities that we frequently pass by. While you're likely able to identify a more desirable street to a lesser one, articulating the physical features that make places seemingly more walkable can be difficult. Let us walk you through some of the elements of the built environment that determine how inviting or uninviting certain streets can be. Human scale describes an environment whose size, texture, and shape are reasonable for an average person to interact with while walking. For an optimal human scale, buildings and streets are best at a one-to-one -one ratio, with building heights no larger than three or four stories. This provides a safe distance for pedestrians to cross the street, and the heights of the buildings aren't overwhelming. Imageability refers to the features of the built environment that make it distinct, recognizable, and more memorable. This includes the presence of unique architecture, a public plaza, or even artwork. The distinct architectural character in Montreal's Plateau neighborhood give it a strong sense of place that you might not find in the generic central business district or traditional suburb. Transparency refers to the actual transparency of a building's surface at ground level. When you increase transparency, for example with a glass store display, you externalize otherwise internal activities onto the street, which increases the perception of human activity. Compare the feeling you might have while walking along the large blank wall of a parking garage to the bakeries, cafes, and restaurants down the commercial street, such as this one. Enclosure describes the degree to which streets and public spaces are visually defined by the buildings, walls, trees, and other vertical elements to give them a room-like quality. Ideally, the streets form the floor, the buildings the walls, and the sky the ceiling. In cities with long straight streets such as Montreal, views of prominent landmarks at the end of the street also ensure a better sense of enclosure. Complexity of a street can be understood as the extent and variety of details a passerby is able to visually consume. A street's complexity can shorten or prolong the perceived length of a trip by invigorating or dulling the senses. The way light filters through leaves, the texture of the sidewalk, and variety of building uses, shapes, and colors all contribute to a rich and complex environment. So through working out these definitions, we're able to develop the language of urban design which enables us as a community to have a productive conversation about what does or doesn't work about a particular place. For urban planners, identifying these characteristics allows them to create policy that improves perception of the built environment and encourages more active transportation. So, next time you leave the house, look around and see how many of these physical elements are present or absent along your daily walk.